Noah Sidora, Cole Larkin, Karen Gallant, thanks for being the first guest of Panther Pride of 2023-24 season, boys. Yeah, thank you for having us. All right. So, boys, like I mentioned, we're, we're trying to get a little bit of a, a background on some of the new players that are going to be coming in this year. Um, you guys are just wrapping up your junior careers um, at various locales. Um, maybe can you kind of give a little bit of a background in terms of where you played, where you came from in junior hockey, and maybe kind of what that experience was like for you. Yeah, I'll start with you, Noah. Yeah, so I uh, I played, I was in Erie, Pennsylvania, uh, the OHL, played for the Erie Otters for uh, four years there. So, yeah, I was there my, pretty much my whole junior career. I played one year of prep before that. But, uh, yeah, for my junior career, I was in Erie the whole time. Uh, it was great down there. I really enjoyed it. I had a blast. I, I learned learned a lot. Like you said, I played kind of junior hockey. Hopefully, a lot, a lot of stuff. Obviously, on ice, off ice, but hoping some stuff I can obviously bring to bring to the next level. Good stuff, Cole. Yeah, so I was drafted by uh, the Mooseheads, and then I was traded uh, during my 16-year-old season to Acu Bathurst Town. Then I was fortunate enough to be able to play four and a half years there, and spent my whole junior career there, and met a lot of. Uh, very special people there, coaches, family, and uh, teammates. So, yeah, a great junior career. Did you just met, did you set some kind of record in Quebec League like, this year for Ireland or something? Yeah, it was uh, like consecutive games played there. So, yeah, that was cool. pretty cool. Was, was that a franchise record? Yeah, franchise. Franchise yeah. record. Yeah. Nice. Kim? Yeah, me, myself, uh, I've been here the last four years. Uh, I was drafted to, to the Islanders here in Charlottetown, and uh, I was lucky enough to, to live at home here with my family. And, you know, experience uh, everything here in Charlottetown for my junior career. It's been a blast and happy to be staying home. Good. Continuing at home. Of course, yeah. Nice stuff. I see, uh, St you went to Stansted College too, didn't you? Yeah. I think. I see Stansted out here. You've been able to reconnect with some of those guys? Yeah, I haven't uh, I haven't been out there yet, but uh, I'm supposed to see what they're up to today, kind of thing. But, yeah. Good. So, boys, you kind of wrapped up, uh, uh, you know, that junior phase, you're moving on to a different level. You're no longer just a just a hockey player. You're going to be student athletes. Um, how do you? What, what's that kind of? What kind of goes through your head when you're trying to prepare to move to the to the youth sport level from the age of junior level? Karen, maybe you start with you this time. Yeah, I know for for me, you know, um, ever since my junior career, I've I've been a student athlete in my head. You know, I've. I've been coming to UPI for the last three years now, so you know it's not really a new setting to me. You know, I know most of the buildings by now. I feel like, and uh, so the school part, you know, it's not much of a change. Um, I know the hockey part is probably going to be a big step up, you know, going from uh, 16 year olds, 20 year olds to 20 to 25 year olds. You know, it's it's a big step. So you know, I'm trying to make the most of my off season to come in fully prepared. Absolutely. Cool. Yeah, I think it's going to be a, definitely a big change for me because in Bathurst, uh, all my courses I took were online. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a difference to actually going to, uh, to class. And as for the hockey goes, I think it's going to be a big step. You know, guys are a lot stronger. We're used to being the older guys, and now we're going to be the young rookies again. So it's going to be a big step, but it just means you've got to put in a big summer training, that sort of thing. Cool. Be prepared as possible. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. Yeah, I feel for me, uh, it's kind of similar. Similar to what the boys had to say there, but yeah, I mean, I haven't really been, like you said, like a full-time student going to class and stuff like that for a couple of years now. But saying that, uh, like when I went, like I mentioned, at the prep at Ridley College, you kind of get oh, okay. a little more of that student-athlete feel, right? You're you guys play against one another? Probably yeah, did. Yeah, probably yeah. Did, but yeah. You get that, you get that kind of balance between like, you obviously got to take care of your school, stuff sure. like that, but you got hockey as well. But yeah. That. And in terms of the hockey, like they said as well, just kind of build off that. Like, it's definitely going to be a big step, right? I mean, we've been the older guys the past couple of years, yeah. but I think, yeah, like like they said as well, like the biggest thing for me, I feel, is just getting bigger, stronger, being able to compete against these older guys. So it's gonna, it's definitely going to be a challenge. But yeah, I'm looking forward to it. For sure. So Cole would have been like a junior Panther back in the day, and uh, yeah. Kieran, of course, being an Islander and being a student here, would be very familiar. What's your level of familiarity with, say, UPI or with uh, U-Sport in general? Uh, only really, like, the only thing I'm really familiar with is 
what I was showing yesterday so far okay. for UPI, but I mean, yeah, I just kind of came down to the visit. But yeah, I've heard a lot of a lot of great stuff about UPI, and I think that's partially why, like, why I. And you, and you played with Curtis Henry and yes, yeah. Sam Mitchell. Yeah, and so I've heard too. like a lot of, honestly, anything I've heard about U Sports and UPEI, especially as of late, the past couple of years, it's been all great, great feedback, nothing bad. So I think that, and then you said also a couple of former Erie Otters coming through through yep. this system. I mean, it's just, it seemed to, seem to work well for a lot of those guys. I think it's good to follow some of the footsteps there. All right. So, um, summer, right? Like you have your regular season, you got the off season pole, and all you mentioned about off season training. Um, what does your guys' summers look like? I know we were having a chat off camera about golf coming, being part of the equation. But Cole, what does uh, what's summer look like for you? Like either work wise, training wise, that sort of thing. Yeah. So, like we talked about, I just finished fishing there the past two months, so I was doing that. And Working at that, and now uh, since I've had, I'm with and be able to enjoy my summer a little more. I'll be sure. back to training and getting on the ice a little more, and then, like you said, I'm gonna enjoy some golf. And yeah, I like to get in the course every now and again. So. Do you and Harry share a few stories about back in Bathurst time? Yeah, yeah, like definitely that? a few stories. Yeah, it's pretty cool being able to play junior with him. Good stuff. Yeah. No, we'll have a good. Yeah, same for me. Uh, I've been lots of training, working out, stuff, skating in bed here and there. So. Kind of took a little bit of time off after the season, right? Which is, I always feel like it's good, but sure. kind of get back into the swing of things. And I kind of like mentioned, mentioned to the boys, like an ideal day for me is get up in the morning pretty early, work out, get that over with. Then I go to work, I work at a golf course, okay. I work back shop there. Good. So I work, and then as soon as my shift's over, I go and play for the rest of the day. Awesome. So that's you're living the life. That's how I get, and I get everything <laughs> in there. The odd day, I might have to. Might have to lay off on the golf to go skate, but okay. yeah, I make sure I get all my workout stuff like that taken care of. It's you're making those seven Yeah, yeah so the rest yeah. for me is a lot, a lot of golf too, so good I like stuff. to enjoy that. Good stuff. Kieran, how about you? Yeah, for me, um, the last uh, 10 or so years, I've worked here at the Andrew Hockey School, so you know, <clears> most of my summers have been in, in this arena kind of thing growing up. So um, this year, I am starting as a server at Fisherman's Wharf. Oh, a little inside yeah, training going on there. A little inside training, I guess, but yeah, it's, it's been a blast up there so far. And, you know, I can't complain. I'm, I'm still here every day. I, I work out in the in the gym at Andrews, and yep. I skate in the mornings here as well. So I have a familiar sense with you know the area around here. So. You got a group. So a group you're going out with, like local guys playing, local junior players, maybe guys looking to go pro. Sort of yeah, I, it uh, depends on the year. You know, I. I know a lot of the local guys here stayed here. Yeah. Um, I just kind of started the last week or so. And, you know, it hasn't been a whole lot of people on. I know it was uh, me and Tom Casey out there yeah. the other day, and then, um, it was me and Jordan Spencer out there the other day as well. So it's sure. uh, all the guys are kind of coming back from Pro, I think, here soon. So yeah. there might be a, a bigger group, or might not be, but I know a lot of the, the junior guys skate here as well, kind of thing. So it's just kind of depends on the day who's in, I think. For sure. So, boys, uh, this year the team is looking like it's never looked before. It's going to be 14, maybe 15 new faces. Um, God goes from a veteran laden team last year to a rookie laden team this year, and you guys are going to be part of that group moving forward. Um, I know how I feel about it as a, as a fan and as a, as a color commentator, but Maybe, well, what, what's it like for you guys who are going to be going through it as knowing that there's going to be so many fresh new faces coming into this team? Maybe you'd like to hear your perspective on that. Part. Yeah, yeah. Personally, I mean, I think it's it's great. I mean, it's a great opportunity. I said it was such a, a big turnover, like, I think, for the team. I think we talked to a couple of guys yesterday that on the team in the past couple of years, like, I think everyone's excited, right? I mean, you've got everybody kind of coming in. I mean, I know I can speak for myself, and I'm sure all the other freshmen coming in, but everyone's kind of hungry, right? I mean, like, you want to make that first impression. Everyone's kind of going to be going to be battling for that ice, right? I mean, and I know that. Right? Healthy like, competition. Exactly, yeah. You kind of have that healthy competition between, and you kind of, right? You just have so many new guys. It's just a level playing field for everybody. So I think it's it's a good thing, and it's something you're going to be able to push each other, and I think it's going to 
it didn't work out well. Should be good. Good stuff. Cole, how did Yeah, just kind of elaborate on what Noah was saying there. I think it's really exciting for all of us, and I think uh, it's important for us to, as a young core to grow together and get better and better every, every year. I think uh, I think it's like you said, a great opportunity for us. So yeah. I think it's going to be I think it's going to be good. It's going to be really exciting. Yeah. Gear? Yeah, it's awesome to you know come in with you know a lot of other guys your age kind of thing and you know build as as a team. I think over the year and you know over years to come, and I think it'll really help with you know, the team gelling together kind of thing. And you know it's uh, it's nice to be able to come in with uh, a bunch of other guys and for your spot kind of thing and you know, I think that really will up our, up our playing style a lot. So a couple of captains, former captains, I think you were uh, you were assistant, assistant captain, captain and Erie as well too so we'll be looking for you guys to provide the leadership good stuff. So the other part is boys are student athletes. Uh, what's your what's your area of study maybe what maybe kind of uh, what's your area of study, and maybe have, have you got any thoughts about what it would look like post uh, UPI? I guess. Yeah, so I'm taking kinesiology right now. Um, you know, my brother, my brother took here. He graduated from here out of kinesiology, so you know, I've, it's pretty interesting. And I've kind of been following him since day one. So okay. he uh, he graduated. He's moved on to speech language pathology at, okay. at Dallas. So I'm not really sure if that's a route I want to take, but you know, I want to. Keep exploring through the the kin, kin field and sure. see what kind of happens to me. Cool. Yeah, so I took some uh, business courses through uh, Katie Action, which was online. I remember I played in Bathurst there, and I enjoyed business, so I ended up going into the business program here at UPI, and I'm excited for that. And I didn't really put a whole lot of thought into after after I get my degree, but who knows? Maybe there'll be an option to play pro somewhere, yeah. or use my degree and get a job. So we'll just see what happens. Good stuff. How do you know? Uh, so the fall, I haven't really started yet, but uh, I'm thinking sociology. Yep. So I think it'd be good. I think it's kind of, kind of more of like a broad kind of range, right? Yeah, more large program. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Like I said I have my mind set on one thing, exactly. Yep. Right. I mean, a couple, couple different things that I can honestly do with that as well. So sure. yeah, I'm gonna focus on that, get through, get the degree there, and then like full set as well. Like, if there's an opportunity to play pro, I think that's something I definitely. Definitely want to do, and then I'll be able to use my degree after that. Yeah. One final question. You're from Bob Cage in Ontario. You yeah. must be a hip fan. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, yeah, a little past my time. No, but, uh, but come on. I don't mind the odd like <laughs> classic. And I'll, yeah, I'll, I don't know, I'll say this now, but it says Bob Cajun everywhere I go. And I'll be honest with you, I've only lived there, I think, for my entire life. Mine are midget year and for the draft and everything they got all of your stats. Uh, okay. But Bob Cage is like a super small town, so yeah. it kind of sounds better. Right? Sure. You know what I mean? Sure. Great so story. Like, we can go with that, we can go with New Market. <laughs> actually from oh, or whatever, right. whatever you guys want to say. That's good. Right? Okay, we'll keep you a Bob Cage and Burke on the back. Thanks for a great story. Exactly. Don't let a lot get in the way of a good story as well as say, right? So well, boys, listen, thanks for coming on midsummer. I know you got stuff going on. I appreciate you taking the time to come out. Looking forward to a great season. I know I'm excited uh, seeing 14 new faces to be calling the games this year and you know, getting to know. So good luck and uh, enjoy the rest of the summer. Thanks, Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks, man.